Hey guys, Selassie here. In today's video, I'm going to take you through how to make this top. This top has three components. We have the first part, which is from shoulder to the waistline. We have the second part, which is the joining at the waist. And we have the third part, which is the sleeve. So we will not be able to take all three components because this will make the video very long, okay? So hopefully in subsequent video, I'll be taking you through how to draft the sleeve and uh, um, the attachment on the waist, okay? Now, this is going to be mostly a pattern drafting video. So for this reason, I'm just going to quickly take you through the supplies I will be working with. So I have this Ankara fabric. I'll be using about two yards to create this top. I have my lining, laminated foam. So I'm gonna use this to create a bra cup. And then to give the bust more volume, I have this already made bra cup and I've gone ahead to sew a dart to make it more rounded. Now I'll be using this interfacing, this is Este, which I'll be using for both the main fabric and the lining piece and then i'll be using this regulin boning around the neckline and around the dart on the front and the most important supply i'll be using here is this neckline wire okay so this is going to hold that neckline in place it will prevent the neckline from crumbling as it's a very deep you know plunging neckline I'll be using the short length, not the longer one. I tried using the longer one, but it was just too long. So the shorter one did the job perfectly for me. Okay, guys, let's begin drafting. So let me quickly take you through what I have on my pattern. So on the bust line, I have nine and quarter inches, which is like my bust divided by four plus quarter of an inch is. On the bust level line, I have 10 and quarter inches. On the waistline, I have my front waist arc plus one and a half inches for darts. So go ahead and trace out your pattern and transfer all the construction lines, including the bust radius. So to get your bust radius circle, take the distance from your bust point to your underbust and use this to draw a circle around the bust point. Now, if you are busty, this circle is going to most probably come out of the center front. Now square a line from mid shoulder to the bust point like so. Next, we're going to take our dart. On both sides of the dart line, I'll be marking my dart width of one and a half inches, which I'm going to share equally on both sides. And then I'm going to contour the underbust using the same value. Next, go in with your ruler and connect both points together and then go in with your French curve and connect from bust point to under bust like so. So just like we contour the under bust, we're going to contour the upper bust, okay? So I will be contouring the upper bust with 7 8 of an inch, which I'm going to share equally on both sides of the dart line around the circle. So this 7 8 of an inch is peculiar to my measurement. Now I'm going to go in with my French curve and connect to the bust point to form the dart. Now there's a general rule of thumb that states that if your sleeve is going to have any form of volume or garters, you need to go in from your shoulder point with half of an inch. So now I'm going to do this and redraw the MO. Now the shoulder length measurement for this style is one and a half inches. So I'm going to measure from the new shoulder point one and a half inches along the shoulder seam and then connect this point to the dart around the bust radius circle like so. Now in the process of connecting this to the bust radius circle, I kind of cut out of the dart I'm trying to remove. So I'm going to take the measurement of what I cut out of the dart and replace it on the other side just to make sure I'm removing exactly seven eighths of an inch and then go in with my French curve and connect again to the bust point like so. Now to prevent the shoulder from falling, you need to come down from this new neck point, quarter of an inch and connect it to the original shoulder point like so. 
Now, because this is a deep plunging neckline, the center front needs to be contoured. So on both sides of the bust level line on center front, I'm going to mark three quarter of an inch, which I'm going to share equally on both sides of the bust level line. So this three quarter of an inch is standard to contour the center front. Now for the neckline depth, I'm going to come down from the under bust on center front with one and a half inches square in a short horizontal guideline and then connect this point to the dart on the upper bust like so. Now because this top is going to have an attachment on the waist, you need to true the waistline. So come down from the side seam 3 over 16 of an inch and then draw a curved line blending into the waistline like so. Okay guys, we're done with drafting the front of the pattern. I'm going to go ahead and close the darts that needs to be closed and trim off the darts that needs to be trimmed off. So make sure you watch carefully what I'm doing. Man, I like my girls, short and sexy, with a fine ass face looking fancy, and attractive classy like a car ease, but like a band she make me want to drop this, who can I hop in, never hop out, she say you want this, mm, not now. But you now you can see this part is very pointy, so I'm going to go in with my French curve like so and blend this out. Practically, I'm practical with this method, man. So this portion I'm about to cut out, I'm going to take the measurement of that portion and I'll be using that later. Now you want to go ahead and close your center front dart and once you do this, go back in and true the neckline. When truing the neckline, make sure you are not going in, rather come out toward the center front, okay? So as you can see, this center front portion is not as curvy as the side portion. So I'm going to slip a piece of paper in and then come out from the bust point with that quarter of an inch which I trimmed off the side. And then I'm going to redraw the curve of this portion like so. All right, guys, now you need to work both pieces together, starting from the underboss. So when you get to the underboss, place a notch on both pieces where they meet. When you get to the bust point, place a notch on both sides where they meet. And then place a notch one inch above the boss point and place a notch on the point where both pieces end. Okay? So one notch above the boss point, one notch below the boss point, and one notch where both pieces end on the side piece. So, guys, I've gone ahead to carefully add my seam allowance all around the pattern. So let's draft the back. Now on the bust line, I have nine and a half inches, which is like my bust divided by four plus half of an inch for ease. On the waistline, I have my back waist arc plus two inches for dart. So do note that this pattern has a shoulder blade dart, but please kindly ignore these two dart. So what those two dart means is that just in case I want to eliminate the shoulder blade dart, which is half inches wide, I can take quarter of an inch from the MO and quarter of an inch from the neckline just to eliminate that shoulder blade dart. Okay, so ignore it. We will not be doing that. All right, just like we did on the front, I'm going to come in from the shoulder point with half of an inch and redraw the MO. Now from this new shoulder point, I'm going to mark my shoulder length of one and a half inches, just like we have on the front. Now I'm going to mark my neckline depth by coming upward half of an inch from the bust line. And then I'm going to go in with the French curve and connect to form the back neckline. Center back dart is three quarter of an inch wide. I'm going to connect this to the neck points like so. So this is going to help to contour the back. 
Now, along the neckline from the new neck point, I'm going to come down quarter of an inch, just like we did on the front, and connect that to the original shoulder point. Next, I'm going to extend the center dart line upward to the across back level, like so. On both sides of the dart line, I'm going to mark on the across back line quarter of an inch and then connect this point to the darts like so. So this is going to help to contour the back as well. Now you need to go ahead and close this dart and then through the neckline. So I'm bringing in the front just to make sure the boots match on the shoulder seam and then I'm going to redraw the neckline. Now, just like we did on the front, we're going to through the waistline, come down three over 16 of an inch from the side seam, going with your French curve and draw a curved line blending into the waistline like so. And then I'll go ahead and add in all my seam allowance all around and then trim off this pattern. So you can make the back pattern as one piece and eliminate the dart completely or you can make it two pieces or you can sew your darts. You can leave the dart and sew it. Okay, so the choice is yours. All right, guys, now I'm going to bring my back piece and match it to my front at the side seam just to make sure they match. And now I'll go ahead and trim off the pattern. So like I said in the beginning, this is mainly a pattern drafting video, okay? Um, do let me know on the comment section if you like to see a sewing tutorial. If not, this brings us to the end of this video and I hope you find this video helpful. If you do, leave a comment, like this video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you on my next one. Till then, have a good day. Bye.